The high life. We all think we deserve it and we all think we can get it. Or at least a lot of Gen Z do. More people now than ever think they are destined for greatness and a life of luxury. But people are wrong to think like this. And the Barbie movie tells us exactly why. But before I go on, a brief word of warning. Spoilers do lie ahead. Much like Barbie, many people, especially Gen Z, have an overestimation of what the world is actually like. We expect to be treated with respect, but alas, reality has it that we are not. And whilst everyone is different, for most people, they are fighting their own battles, and more often than not, there is collateral damage from them. Meeting bill payments, working in a job you don't like, and providing for a family are no mean feats. And these struggles exist because unlike Barbie Land, the world is not perfect. No one has everything. But as the Barbie movie ends up showing, that is a good thing. Because when you have everything, you have nothing. But sadly, we've created a society where we think we have to have everything, and that struggles are non-existent. The Barbie movie does a fantastic job at highlighting the problems with its outlook on the world. The slight mention of irrepressible thoughts of death sends shockwaves through their society, and the mere consideration of it is deemed utterly abhorrent. But just as is the case with the struggles of life, death is a certainty, and one we must embrace. Because the result of denying these certainties ends up with the creation of a fake reality, a Barbie land if you will, a world of our own doing, social media, and it is filled with Kens who can't understand that they are Kenuff. The platforms created under the guise of relationship building are now awash with these shallow vacuous people whose roles are beach holiday, dinner, and influence. And the individuals who can't understand that they are Kenuff end up causing a lot of problems for other people, their attempt to deal with their own insecurities through highlighting only the joy in their lives ends up directing us, cajoling and nudging people to do things that they otherwise would not do. We get encouraged to dress a certain way, look like this and that, and behave as everyone else does. And sure thing, this does mean you'll fit in with all the other Kens and Barbies, but it will be at the expense of individuality. And the concept of Barbie is in a sense predicated on the individual. It is a doll meant to be a means of comfort and entertainment for young girls, who can see a bit of themselves in her. But equally, that's why Gen Z needs to watch this film, because Barbie's roles were often ones of splendour and grandeur, supreme court justices, surgeons, presidents and CEOs, and many other industrious positions that few can obtain with paychecks most can only dream of. But there shouldn't be a reason for why there isn't just a plain old normal Barbie, as Gloria suggests, who just wants to get through the day feeling a little good about herself. People need to realise that it is okay to be normal. Not everyone has to be perfect, because not everyone can be. The whole concept of greatness rests on the fact that not everyone can be great, because if everyone is great, well, then everyone is just normal. And part of escaping this need for greatness can start with reducing the incessant need for trendy clothing that Barbie has often perpetuated, that endless consumerism that is just oh so completely unnecessary. Barbie doesn't need all the Chanel handbags or two-piece dresses to be Barbie, because when you become obsessed with what you wear and what you have, you no longer wear the clothes, they wear you. And yes, you might look cool, but you're once again only achieving this at the very expense of your own identity. We need to do away with these almost entitled expectations of an enormous house, a fancy sports car, the latest clothes and dining on the regular at the best restaurants, because these expectations are as ridiculous as they sound. They have been directed towards the material, but thankfully, as the ending of Barbie shows, the real value is found in the little moments between a mother and a daughter or a father and a son, between one person and another. I don't think a single one of those warming scenes at the end of the film featured a single Barbie in them. And my only guess as to why this is the case is because they are not needed, but love, friendship, and unity is. So, with all this in mind, the reason why I think Gen Z need to watch Barbie is because of what it is trying to say about individuality and where true value can be found. True value is not in the superficial nature of relationships, or in material items, nor is it in false perceptions on the internet, but rather in the moments we share as individuals with one another. And that is why I really enjoyed the Barbie movie. Not only was it able to provide a commentary on societal issues in a nuanced way, but ended on an incredibly wholesome note. Barbie 
is very much a love letter to the mothers and women of the world who have been easily forgotten, as well as to the Allens of the world who have faced the same fate. And between the wonderfully comical acting of Ryan Gosling and the rest of the cast, there is a message for everyone, but most importantly for Gen Z. Be yourself, because you are Kenuff. If you like what you saw here, consider leaving a like, and if you want to see more content then do subscribe. The Barbie movie is densely packed with messages and meaning, so if you have any thoughts of your own, please put them in the comments below, and thank you for watching.